All right, guys. Well, let me start over. Okay, so what we're going to be doing today is making a C4 remote um, that works in lag. Because if you've ever used a C4 remote remote in lag, this is actually something I've been working on for about a month now, trying to trying so hard to get it to work reliably. Um, but I want one that's going to work in lag, which is the hardest thing to test in the dev kit, um, because the dev kit doesn't really lag. Um, so what I'm talking about will work is if you've ever. <laughs> well, thank you, Lambert. Um, but if you've ever tried to use C4 in an even slightly laggy server, you'll like you'll go to place the C4 and it won't place. It'll just like it'll make the sound, but nothing will happen. You have to put the remote away, get it back out to try again, and you end up doing it like three or four times before the C4 will actually place, and you end up wasting like the entire life of your Stego trying to place a single C4 down. So what we're going to try to do here is uh, fix it. Now I'm I'm using the AA Vault remote to try to to try to test it because I have to test it on a laggy server. So I've been testing it on the Nerd Parade server. Now I had this right here. This says, um, don't let, oh, I didn't have it hooked up. This says basically don't let someone use this unless they're an admin. I had this one set to my Steam 64 ID only, and I was using it um, on the Nerd Parade server. I was leaving the tribe, um, putting like a row of foundations down, leaving the tribe, and then trying it on the foundations. Um, and I, it was having some success, but there's some big problems with it that I'm trying to fix. Um, so I've changed it to where it is now admin usable. So you have to have the admin star enabled and then anybody can test it because I, I'm getting to the point where I want people's feedback. Um, and I was trying to keep this a secret because this has always been Nick's biggest complaint is not being able to place C4. So I was trying to, <laughs> yeah, never lagging on the server. I was trying to keep this a secret and get the entire development done in secret. But I had someone comment on one of my YouTube videos yesterday and actually sent Nick a message threatening to expose us because I actually forgot to put the, um, the Steam64 ID check in here or the admin check. Um, on one of my updates and anybody can place a C4 and I guess somebody recorded it and they could pick it up and dupe C4 with it. Um, but I, I tested that and it takes forever because it's not your C4 and you'll sit there and wait and wait and wait and wait before it lets you pick it up. Um, but anyway, um, so I'm kind of bringing it out to the public before this guy tries to get money off of posting a video. I'm not gonna let someone else do that to Nick again like they did the Giga. So we're, we're getting it out in the open. We're, we're showing you guys what we're working on. We are working on what will be called the AA Better C4 remote. Um, it's on the, the building helper for now. Once it's done, it will get its own separate remote. What's up, Raven? What's up, Rasta? Um, but yeah, we're working on this. Our main problems with it right now are when we place it, it doesn't always, um, well, well, to get around the lag issue of actually placing it, we're getting rid of the animations. It's just like spawning in a C4 uh, on a line trace. Um, there's still like limits I need to add to the line trace, but it's just spawning in the C4 on a line trace and then giving the ownership of it to the person with the remote. Um, and because if you try to do the animation, I, I'm, I figured out that's what is causing it not to place. So this method actually gets it to place, but the problem is I'm having is actually giving ownership of the C4 back to the player. Um, so we're gonna try to get that fixed today. I need to add a range limitation. Um, right now there's no way to blow up the C4. Um, so we have to add, um, we have to add the, the sword next to Raven's name is because uh, moderator. Uh, we have to add a way to make it blow up, uh, which would be another key press, just like uh, detonating. Um, so we're probably actually going to have to move this to its own remote relatively soon to start getting different key presses in. But right now we're just using the scroll chat up page up when you have the uh, when you have the vault remote out and when you have admin icon. Well, right now in game it won't do anything. I have it completely disconnected. Um, but when you're an admin. Um, uh, I made it to where it won't place on tech shields because I actually couldn't remember if you could place a C4 on a tech shield. Um, but um, I made it to where you can't place it on your own structures. Um, this is the actual spawning of the C4 at the trace location, which I need to reduce um, the location here because right now it's got a pretty high range. Um, I need to figure out what the range of the vanilla C4 is and make it that same range. And then everything else here is... Uh, Pretty, pretty much the same. This is where I get the person holdings remotes um, tribe name so I can give the C4 to that tribe. Um, and then here is where um, it ends. Um, basically here, um, if the tribe name is given, it, um, it just prints success on my screen. That's all it does. And then there'll be a C4 sitting there. Um, if it's not given, it retries it. And this is where in lies my problem. I've had a, a few, thang, few times when I tried to do it on, uh, on my test structures on the NerdPrint server, um, where I'd place it and it just wouldn't give me the tribe name and it's it's doing the loop so fast that it would crash my client and I would DC from the server. So that's what I need to try to fix. I need to be trying to figure out a better way to do this to where it won't crash my client um, because that would be a big no-no if you're sitting on back of the Stego in a raid and you crash your client. And right now it's about a 50-50 chance of crashing my client. So this would be very, very bad to use um, 
while writing at the current moment. So we, we've got to find a way to fix this. Uh, I got a little bit of delay in here between the spawn and when it tries to change the ownership, which I might try to try to remove, but from what I can tell, it needs it. Yeah, I know people. Yeah, that's why they make dumb shit about. Yeah, I, I agree completely, uh, Knight, and that's why I'm putting this out. So before this guy does, so if he does put the video out, I'm like, hey, I already addressed this. You're not. Yeah, but he'll probably still end up getting like a fifty thousand view video and making money, make a couple hundred bucks off it. But not need about that, but. I will do my best to prevent it, but showing you guys what we got, ruining the surprise, um, but hopefully before too much longer. Like I said, I've been working on this for about a month now, maybe a little bit longer actually, because it's been giving me the um, the hardest time trying to get it right, because this is something I want to have 100% right before I ever put, uh, put it into the mod, because if this is wrong, it could either one, um, be worse than the C4 mode, or two, cause big problems that are, uh, that are worse than C4. Uh, we'll check out my arena. I'd like to try and host it. Where is it, Rasta? I saw that come up on OBS, but I don't see that on the chat. I can check it out. Just let me know where it's at. So what I don't know is how I'm going to fix that, but we're going to go ahead and um, let's, uh, one thing I haven't done is opened up the regular C4 to even see how it works. We're going to open up the regular C4 and see what the range on the placement is. We want to make sure this doesn't have more range than a vanilla C4. That actually may be on the remote. Let's see. Placement. Oops. Range. Oops. Max placement range, 250. Dang, that's short. Okay. So let's get the forward vector. And I think we will multiply that by 250. I saw a nerd phrase in my song. What? <laughs> uh, oh, you saw a nerd phrase in you saw what's better than one. <laughs> and we're currently screen frozen. All right, there we go. All right, so we've changed the range. That should be the same as the C4 remote now. Well, it might be one pixel longer, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, so that should change that. Um, I I had this tribe check in here, but you can play C4 on your own structure. So I think I'm gonna completely remove this and go straight to this, just to try to put one less thing that it has to do in there. The lake by the lava golem. Slow your sap. I stole your sap? <laughs> I don't remember stealing sap, but I think I know what you're talking about. The lake that at the entrance to Lava Gala. All right. So this is spawn transform, transform, spawn C4. Spawn even colliding. It doesn't look as pretty. The C4 just sounds flat, like on the wall, but what you gonna do? This may be something that, that may be something I can fine tune over time. This gets your tribe and sets. I'm setting the owner and the tribe name. Force replication, and then delaying and checking to see if it actually has an owner name. You love the OCD vaults mostly? Yeah, I do too. And yes, the OCD vaults are actually very hard to make. And there's actually a, still a duplication bug that Lucy keeps finding um, that I can't really get to reproduce for me um, with pulling in the, the Smithicator that I can't seem to fix. So I, I'm going to be. Uh, going through and fixing that soon. I don't know why I did that, but I'll fix that in a minute. You really want to start coding how she do it? You should join the Arc Modding Discord. You can find a link to it on Google. Um, that was it showing up there. It's just called Arc Modding. Um, that's going to be your number one source of information. Download the dev kit. If you're talking about uh, modding, there's not much coding to it. It's all visual scripting like this. Um, unless you start doing stuff outside of the dev kit with uh, uh, HTTP pull and get requests, um, which I haven't done yet. Um, then you need to get into some kind of web-based coding. But um, if you're actually just starting about programming, I would suggest school or online video courses. Big lake behind it. Oh, the big, big lake. Okay, I got you. Where we came, uh, where the waterfall, where we tamed the otters. I got you. 
All right, so let's see. I'll show you guys how this works right now. Um, I'll just show you, show you, show you exactly what it does um, compared to what a normal C4 remote does. Like I said, it doesn't blow up yet. There's no way to detonate it, but it will place a C4. The C, the CP dupe. Yeah, he sent me a picture of greenhouse to duping the CP using a greenhouse structure. So I got to try to fix that as well. I'm gonna have to like go through, break down the code line by, or the, the the script like line by line, and try to figure out exactly where it's happening. Because the funny thing is, when when you make a mod or a program or an app or a game, you use it how it's supposed to be used. So you never encounter encounter that stuff. But other people who didn't make it, they find every little way they can to to work make it work how it's not supposed to be used. So it's kind of the curse of being a developer is you don't experience these bugs because you know how it's supposed to work and that's how you end up using it. Whereas people that don't know how it's supposed to work, you know, find other ways to use it that cause effects and you got to figure out what they did to cause that. And that's actually one of the biggest challenges in, uh, well, for me in mod developing is figuring out the way people are using it, how it's not supposed to be used and trying to fix that. I can't tell you how many, I think the last five patches for automated arc have been trying to fix bugs. Let's see. I think it's set ad. Yeah, there it is. True. All right. So we set the admin icon true. Need my vault remote. Oh, I need a metal foundation, which I don't know spawn code for. Let's see. Oh, no, it's not foundation. It's floor. Metal for given game ten. Oops, <laughs> can't build this metal vault remote. All right, we'll show you how it's supposed to work here. So if you look up, um, you hit page up. That's a hard button to hit when you're actually playing. You see there in the dev kit, it works fine. It placed a C four and it gave it to me. Now I can't detonate it because if I right click or left click, it does that. Um, it's kind of why I put it on the vault remote. There's no way to detonate it. I guess you could place it and stand back and maybe shoot it. Um, but the problem I was having is if, I think, oh, this is one thing I need to fix. If I spam page up, you'll see it puts some in there that aren't owned by me. So I got to fix that as well. Um, so we need to add some kind of delay to where you can't uh, place another one until the first one's uh, builded. No, built, B-U-I-L-T uh, is the past tense for built. Uh, I built a big stone base on the Nerd Parade server, but I have never been able to play because it's awful, always full. Uh, well, if it was a stone base, it's likely not there. <laughs> What's up, Siva? So this is what we're trying to fix, but that's how it works uh, in comparison. And you see, if I stand back here, I, it won't let me place it. Um, but if I scoot up, you see, I have to be, I have to be really close, just like a normal C4. You have to be. The range is right there. That's just, that's how close you have to be to place the actual C4, just like if you're throwing it. The only difference is um, you don't have to worry about the, the animation and it not actually going out. So you guys can see what I'm trying to go with here on the C4. Um, you see, there we go. I, I couldn't place it there, but I could place it there because that's too far away and that's not. Um, but you see what I'm trying to go for. You see how much less laggy that is, and this will work in the lag. <laughs> you're listening to the stream in your car. Nice. So now what we got to do is we got to make sure somebody can't go up and do this. Oops, oh, it's not gonna work. Oh, it does not working on page up anyway. All right, we gotta make sure nobody does this and just spam C4. I guess you have to kind of hit enter to spam it. So make sure nobody comes around and like spam C4 like this, because that's that's a lot of pressure. So we're gonna have to put, we gotta put a cooldown on it. We all right, we'll do that next. We'll try to get the uh, chatting at red lights. Nice. So let's uh, let's open that back up. Let's try to get a cooldown in here. I gotta get a D. I gotta interrupt uh, key presses, I guess. Actually, I can just do this. Game time in seconds. Game time in seconds. We'll promote that to a variable. And we'll go ahead and name that variable. And crash the editor. <laughs> Figured. All right, now I gotta open the editor back up. 
I've downloaded this and I still haven't played it. <laughs> I need to play that. It looks really cool. All right, well, we're launching the editor. So as soon as that's up, we will continue. It takes a minute to open though, especially with the stream going because I got two things. Well, I got the stream rendering off of my GPU, so it helps a little bit when I'm in the dev kit, not rendering it off my CPU. Yes, the cost of the better C4 remote will be the same as a regular C4 remote, and it'll, yeah, use C4. <laughs> but yes, it will be the same as the regular C4 remote, and it will use C4 that's in your inventory, just like the regular C4 remote. Um, the only difference is it'll actually work when the server is laggy. So it should help any servers out there that are super laggy, or even slightly laggy. Um, even at the beginning of the season when the lag's not that bad, I still run into the C4 bug where I just can't place it, and it drives me nuts. <laughs> I think the, the issue that happens is because there's um, the time the animation takes if you move or the server desyncs and it moves slightly backwards, you go out of range and it doesn't place it. Whereas this, you know, the server lags, it's just instant place. So it doesn't matter where the character is um, in relation to where the C4 is going to be placed. So it's not going to be as pretty. You're not going to do the with the sound and the animation, um, but it'll work better. But yeah, we're getting ready to add the, uh, I'm setting game, I'm getting the game time in seconds and then I'm gonna promote that to a variable. So it says, hey, this is when you place the C4 and then they'll, then I'll right, immediately after, I'll check it again. I'll say, has so many seconds passed in true let place another C4. And then we also, another thing I have to figure out is how to check for wreckage because I have no clue how I'm gonna do that in the dev kit. Um, so we gotta figure out how to check for wreckage um, because that's one thing I definitely needs to be there. How long are you gonna be modding for? Um, I don't know. We're gonna to try to make some good progress on the C4 remote. Um, I will probably mod until um, till Nick gets on because we need to record more than one video today because we uh, ran into some time issues trying to record our video yesterday. So we ran out of time and didn't get the whole video done. So we gotta record the second half of yesterday's video or yesterday's recording that we made uh, and another recording today as well as I need to edit my video and upload a video, or I need to record a video of my own today as well. So we got lots to do today. Speaking of which, I need, I have my video for today ready to post and I need to upload it actually. There you go. <laughs> Tribe Life season one, episode four is ready to upload. So I actually need to get that uploading. So we will probably not stream for too long because um, I need to actually get that uploading and there's no way I can upload a video and stream at the same time. That's not gonna work. Um, so we'll try to get some progress made on the C4 remote. Um, more or less streaming this to let you guys know that I am making it and that it will be available for admins to use uh, as soon as the next AA update goes out. Um, well, admins to test. Um, it's not really gonna be viable to use in a raid with the point of cloud, but admins can try um, if they want to give me feedback, try to use it on their server and let me know if it works. Like I said, the C4 won't actually blow up, but it'll place a C4 and they can let me know um, if they crash or if it actually gives them the C4 name and they can test it, um, like just spawn in a, or place down a row of Dash Foundations and put them along it. That's what I've been doing um, just for testing purposes on an actual running server. Uh, do you think you will have a problem with the C4 getting spawned on the stego while ready. No, um, the way it works when I do this, here, I'll show you real quick. Um, it will not be able to spawn on the, sh on the stego. Um, I thought about that when I was first making it. Let me get, let me get the thing open. Let's hope our, hope our stuff saved real quick. Hold on, it's opening up.
Come on. Open up for me. There it goes. All right. It is opened. And there's the regular vault stuff there. Starting it, mending it. This is uh, adding the buff for uh, pulling up the uh, storage menu. Could have been there, and this makes it pull here. This one makes all your vaults pull on a randomized time delay. Okay, back to this. Um, as far as placing on the Stego, no, you won't have that problem because as you see here, oh, hold on, someone just stopped. Seagrose joined the Blitz Bits family with his Twitch Prime subscription. Let's get that hype going in chat for Seagrose, guys. Welcome and with love to the family. Let's get those purple hearts and those blitz fire emotes. See, Rose, you got access to them now, uh, or to it now. Uh, in the chat, guys, let's get those going. But you see here, the line trace uh, only traces for structures. So if you point it at your stego and there's a foundation beneath it, as of right now, it'll look straight through the stego and place it on the foundation. So I actually might need to fix that to make sure you can't place it through your stego. Of course, if you did that, it would really hurt your stego. So it, kind of balances itself, but we'll figure out that what we're going to do exactly there later. But uh, no, it will not stick to your stego. It will only stick to um, structures. It actually won't even stick to the ground. So you can't place it on the ground in front of a structure either. Um, so we might need to fix that as well. I may need to add a terrain trace in here so you can actually place it on the ground if you want to. Although it's much better on a structure. So yeah, maybe I'll, uh, yeah, I might need to add a terrain trace in here to, so you can place it on the ground if you want. Good points. This is why, and this is why I like streaming while development. You guys give me like you, you ask the questions that I wouldn't actually probably ask myself, um, and get my mind going in the right direction. So what were we doing? Oh yes, yeah, so we were adding the. Let's see if we can do this without it crashing this time. Git game. Half the time when I add this node, the dev kit crashes, and I have no clue why. All right, it didn't crash. Let's see. Let's. Save. Let's promote. Don't crash. <laughs> New bug for the dev kit. When you, all right, we'll have to create a variable and then drag it to it. When you uh, promote to variable from a get time in seconds, evidently it crashes the dev kit. Sorry, right, so we gotta wait for it to load up one more time here. Um, What's up, Joey? We're waiting on the dev kit to load back up because it just crashed again. Hmm. Can't keep up, yeah. Uh, how do I not see Star Citizen on your desktop? I've never played Star Citizen. This is about all the PC games I've played, to be honest with you. Every other game I've ever played has been on PlayStation. Only. But between, <laughs> between Ark and Ark, Making videos, I don't have that much time to play other games. Oh, took Ark and Ark modding and my Rainbow Six, which I really love. I haven't had that much time to play other games. I haven't got that much time in Destiny 2 yet. What's up, Kendrick? Star is epic. I've heard, I've heard a lot about Star Citizen. What else I heard, it's, uh, it sucks the soul out of your life. No, <laughs> I heard it, it. Like, it's one of those games you have to play a lot, so I haven't had time to even try it. What's up, Ghost?
can always help you and they can keep playing together. Oh, we definitely will. I'm having a lot of fun playing the Nick. <laughs> no work it folks oh crap ghost did you see my new turret tower yet <laughs> Let's try this again. <laughs> Keeps opening on the turret pillar. Uh, oh, here's another thing we're working on for AA that will be coming in in the somewhat near future, as you see there. It's called the pull remote. That should be a fun one. But for now, we'll stay with this one. Wait, now it's open still. Good. <laughs> nice ghost. Thank you, Ross. Uh, there will be a Tribe Life video out today. As soon as I'm done streaming, I'm going to start to upload on that. Um, so, yeah, it, it's going to be out a little bit later in the day than the last one was, but it will be out today. It's a way to make the reusable grapple a little better. Uh, Rasta, the problem with the reusable grapple is not the grapple, it's the lag on the server. Uh, if you play it in single player or on a, a non-laggy server, it works just like a normal grapple. It doesn't sit there and implement re reload, and it doesn't, um, doesn't, you know, the grapple jump at the end of it where you hit space. That works just fine. Um, that's just because of the ping on the server. There's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> just found out how fun Twitch is joining Rainbow Six is. Nothing funnier than watching and run around trying to figure out what just happened. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people do that, but the best way to use Twitch, Twitch's drone is to not stay away from the people and get all the cameras. But it is fun to troll people with in casual. Yes, the desync. My best advice is don't use the grapple when the server's laggy, or don't rely on the grapple when the server's laggy. I never rely on the grapple during purge time because the ping on the server is never good enough to actually grapple. Hey, it finally opened. That took abnormally long. All right. All right, so we're gonna have to create the variable, get the game time in seconds, and then drag to it. So let's create a variable. Uh, let's see, game time in seconds. And let's, I believe that's a double. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. A leg. There we go. All right. So we're gonna do here. We get game time in seconds. And um, then we're gonna make a little more room here, actually. 
So we're gonna check the game time in seconds. We're gonna subtract. How does stackable turrets coming? I haven't started them yet. <laughs> That's one thing. I, I got a lot of work to do, but I, a lot of a uh, lot of work and not a lot of time. That's the problem. They actually will be extremely easy to make. Uh, well, extremely easy to get the stacking part going, but the snapping part will take me a minute. So, um, all right, game time in seconds. Current game time minus the save game time. Um, I'm trying to think of how long a delay I need to add in here uh, is less than or oops. Uh, let's see, to throat. Wow, can't spell. Should make a dev kit video for dummies because I can follow it. it. Just takes me a while to figure it out. Um, if you go to arcmodding.net, there are a lot of um, tutorial scripts and stuff to help you get started. Um, that's where I got most of my help. Uh, and if, and arc modding uh, Discord is another great way to get help. See gross if you are really interested in the dev kit. You can ask other modders questions and they'll answer as long as you're polite. Um, it's very helpful. That's that's how I had. That's where I got all my help and how I learned. I would love to make videos, but um, maybe once maybe once the craziness of actual modding dies down, because right now, like I, I don't have enough time to mod, let alone make videos. Um, but maybe once the craziness dies down and I get all my big mods I want made like to their completed state, I can start doing stuff like that. But right now, I'm just I'm way too busy. All right, so for testing, we're gonna add a two second cooldown between placing of C four. Although I don't actually, oh, that's the wrong one. I need to actually interrupt the input because this will cause, stop the logic from running if they hit it again. try this I don't know if this is what I want but uh, disabling input is actually not something I have very much experience with so we're gonna do a little bit of experimenting here and see what we can come up with So this should disable the input, and I'm not going to re-enable it just for testing real quick. <laughs> really hate typing on your phone? Yeah, I don't. I don't disagree there. Typing on your phone is uh, inevitably going to lead to a bunch of typos. Yeah, autocorrect. You can do it. There it goes. Save it here and play. All right, so let's set to clarity zero. Set admin icon to true. Give ourselves the metal floors, and we should have the rest already. Rush, please. All right, so. Oh, might have to actually have the remote out, huh? Let me open this up so I can see what's going on.
fire's opening it up in the other window so I can actually see what's going on. Oh, crap. <laughs> that was dumb. Uh, let me bypass this game time in seconds thing real quick. Let's try this again. Let's try this again here. Okay, so that didn't work. So it seems my loop is still running. Hold on, guys. One second. All right. It seems my loop is still running after I start it. So as you can see, there's still zeros running, which means my loop is still running, which is not good. So let's see. And it's running on the server. Owner name is still open, but it doesn't show anything. Check by success. That's not good. I need to fix that for sure. Show you what, that's what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm just printing the owner name here because I have it set if it's blank, it should restart, but it, it shouldn't be blank. But I'm running this on the server, so I'm thinking it may not be returning the name on the server by the looks of it. So we may have to do that on the client, which means we may need a custom event here. Uh, I'll run on client custom event, so we'll see. If I'm right, it'll it'll show server and it won't say anything. This will be up there at the top uh, top left of the play window. Let's see if 
forgetting the key for bottom up. All right, let's try this. Oops. Try this again. Oh yeah, so it's server is empty. C4 charge does. Oh, I know what it is. Huh. Hold on. Let's see here. Log, create try. Let's try this again. Okay, so it stops. All right, so I need to do something about people that aren't in a tribe. So I gotta figure out if they're in a tribe, and if they're not in a tribe, I don't want that, that loop was just constantly running. So for people that aren't in a tribe for some weird reason. Um, oh, it ended up giving me to that one even after I joined the tribe. So the logic was still running in the background. So I, I need that logic to stop at any case, so at like no matter what I have. So I need to, I'm gonna have to add some kind of, oops, I hit the vault remote button. Um, Gonna have to add a check there to see if they're in the tribe for sure. Yeah, see, so it only ran once. That's what it's supposed to do. Is that the text up there? It says tribe of survivor. It says the um, it's the string of letters that basically defines your tribe. Well, your your uh, targeting team is what it's called. Um, to make sure that I do a check to make sure the C4 remote is yours or the C4 is yours because I don't want like I don't want it to say like your 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 foundation was destroyed by C4 and it doesn't tell you who blew it up because that would be a great way to troll the server. So we're, we're trying to make this, as I said, I do not want to publish this until it's complete, like for everybody to use until it's completely debugged. I want to make sure this thing is 100% ready to go before it goes live, because this is not something I want to have issues with. But this did uh, absolutely nothing. I'm going to try something here. This is not my uh, end all solution because I actually I need it to work better than this because you can still hit the button and I think that's going to interrupt the logic or if you put the remote away. So I may actually have to move all this to a buff that's applied to your player so even if you put the remote away it won't stop. Oh, duh. Uh, all right, so we set the time. So set the time every time that's not gonna work, that was stupid. All right, so we only wanna set the time if this is, uh, we only wanna do this if it's true. So it's, wait, no, it's false, we wanna set the time. So if it actually runs, we need to reset this. Knickknack Online has just joined the Blitzwitz family with the Twitch Prime, guys. Let's get the hype going in. I'm <laughs> sorry, too, we said we're in there. Let's get the hype going in chat for Knickknack Prime. Look at all the purple stars you got over here. Let's get the hype going in chat, guys. Turn that chat purple, show them the love, and welcome them to the Blitzwitz family. While we try to figure out what's going on here. <laughs> okay. All right, so it sets the time if it's true, and then it can restart. Um, but when you see... This will be zero at the start, so I think we can just do this. So minus zero should be that should work <laughs> how's your day going my day is going good I'm trying to get this c4 remote done so we can have less times like i can't tell how many stegos i've wasted because i'm sitting there on a stego and i'm like throw c4 no put remote away get back out throw c4 no remote away get back out and it's like the fourth time before it ever actually throws and it drives me crazy because you have to literally have a stego for every c4 you want to place and it's it's insane so we're gonna try to fix one of the arc bugs that drives both me and nick freaking crazy so let's try this here
Okay, so you can't spam them. You can probably hear my button going off. Yeah, that's a nice cooldown. Okay, yeah, that'll work. That'll work just fine. All right, so now I can change the two seconds to however long it needs to be. I'm going to look at the C4. It's probably going to take me a minute to find that cooldown between animations, but... Oh, well, yeah, she's back here playing around. Lily, you want to say hi? Can you say hi? Hi. Your hair's all crazy. Say hello. Hello. You want down? Oh, you want to sit down? Yeah. You going to show him your ball? <laughs> and we also have to figure out how we're going to make these things detonate because I have no clue how to make them actually detonate yet. Um, the C how the C4 remote does it is completely hidden. So what I imagine I'm going to have to do is uh, when you hit the button, it's going to have to find the C4 again and apply damage to it to make it blow up. <laughs> well, thank you, Knickknack. Think of Sega, can you still place from the back of a Sega? Yes, you can still place from the back of a Sega. That I did test. Uh, you'll be able to place um, anywhere you could usually place because you, this remote counts as a weapon. So if you can get your weapon out, aka C4, you'll be able to get the remote out. And like I said, uh, right now it's on the vault remote. Um, I've been testing it on the vault remote for about a month now. Um, but it'll be moving to its own remote once it's done. Um, but we got to, as you've seen here, we've got a few things to fix yet before it's ready to go. So we, we got to fix, uh, we got to figure out, uh, I got to do ground trace. Um, to, so you can place it on the ground if you want to. Um, the spamming is fixed here. I can adjust the time here. It could, I could actually even make this one a admin, a server setting so you can set how long it is between C4 placements uh, if you want to. Oops, right click. We need to do the trace, like I said. We need to figure out, we need to make this a bit more reliable because this drives me crazy. Um, and then we need to make a detonate button. So it's getting close to being published. I was, like I said, I was trying to keep this a secret for Nick to be like, hey, I made something to fix one of your biggest pet peeves. Um, but then I got the comment from the guy that said he's gonna make a video exposing us. So I was like, uh, I figured I might as well just put it out, let you guys know what we're working on. And on the next AA update, as I said, I've changed it. I had it only working with my Steam 64 ID so I could test it. Uh, I was spawning in, oops, I keep saying spawning in. I was crafting thatch structures and putting them in a row um, on the Nerdbrain server because you have to, like regular C4 works pretty well and it's not laggy. So I needed to test it on a server with lag. So I was on the Nerdbrain server, I'd, I'd uh, place a row of uh, thatch foundations and then I'd test it on that row of thatch foundations when the ping was high. And that's how I've been testing this. Um, so, but like I said, there's no way to detonate it. Um, so I would just demolish the thatch foundations. Actually, if you look in our tribe log, it says your C4 has auto decayed. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, this uh, this here, um, for the next update, this will be testable by any server admins that have the little star by their name so everybody knows that they're logged in as an admin. So you have to have this, the admin icon enabled for it to work. That's why it says is server admin. Um, you can't have it disabled. If you have the star disabled, it won't work. So this will be testable by all admins and hopefully I can get some feedback on how it works on their servers if the, um, where it gives the where it gives the C4 back to your tribe and it turns green. Hopefully that works um, quickly. Um, for the tribes, for for other servers. So hopefully I can get some admins out there to help me test this with the next update. Um, I need to, oh, I need to fix, I need to make a list of this. I'm gonna write this down in a minute. Uh, I need to fix the, if you're not in a tribe, that logic just keeps running. Um, so we're gonna have to fix some stuff, but I think we made pretty good progress on it today. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed, um, and I hope you guys will enjoy the, uh, the better C4 remote is what I'm gonna be calling it. Um, it's gonna be part of AA, it's gonna have its own remote. Um, and hopefully it'll fix the um, the stupid C4 placement bug. Uh, the, oh, one other thing I gotta figure out is the, you know, when you place and it says wreckage, I gotta figure out how to find that wreckage uh, and fix it. What? Can you play ball with me? Yeah, we'll go play ball in just a second, okay? okay. All right, guys, we're gonna call that stream. I'm gonna go make her some food and play some ball with her. Um, but we'll be back streaming uh, a little bit later. Like I said, I gotta record two and a half videos today. So I hope you guys did enjoy the stream and stay tuned for future streams and future video, guys. We'll catch you later.